I'm using a GoPro Hero 3 net though right now shooting in 4K. Now 4K is much larger, you know, as far as pixels width goes, it's twice the size, although really I think mathematically it comes up to four times the size of 1080p. So what that means, you can uh, use 4K, even though the GoPro does not have a zoom on it, you can use a 4K video to create zoom-like effects. And so I've been shooting somewhat here in 2.7K, uh, 4K, and creating zoom-like effects with GoPro Hero 3 and Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So let me show what I'm talking about. Here's the hospital where I work. I'm going to stand in one place. I'm not going to move. I'm just going to stand here. Now the GoPro Hero 3 has no zoom on it. So the only way to zoom with a GoPro Hero 3 would be for me to step forward and advance. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. But right now I'm just standing here. And I'm going to use Premiere Pro CC. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drag a 4K piece of video into a 1080p uh, sequence with GoPro or, or in Adobe Premiere Pro. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the scaling of it. And so in other words, I'm going to have ultimately a piece of 1080p video. And now the, the Hero 3 only records 4K video at 15 frames per second. So this is not 30 frames per second like what you typically see on YouTube, but I just let um, Premiere Pro double the, the uh, frame rate on that, and it still looks pretty darn good. So I'm zooming in and out using uh, Premiere Pro and letting it zoom a piece of 4K video, which is four times the size of 1080p anyway, uh, just doing that with the software. Now, I'm gonna stop right now, and I'm actually walk forward. So let's see how much difference we can tell in it when I actually do zoom forward by just walking. So here I'm walking toward the hospital and we should be seeing the hospital get a little bigger as I move. And so now we're getting more of that dolly type effect which is me moving through space. It's not really a zoom, it's more like if you were just walking or on a dolly and you're going to see my hand shake and everything here. To, I could smooth that out somewhat with a warp stabilizer maybe i'll even show you kind of how that looks but here we go that's a demo of just how you can use 4k video and then um, and then manipulate it change the scale of it over time in adobe premiere pro cc to create zoom like effects when you don't have a zoom lens on your gopro so i'm going to use this technique particularly for some wilderness video I'm gonna go up into the Linville Gorge. I'm gonna shoot some kind of big sweeping shots. I'll have 4K video there that I've shot that I can use for a 4K composition when the TVs come out that do 4K. And there are some, Sony's offering some 4K TVs now. I'm not sure that there are players yet. Uh, you know how it's, it took a while for the Blu-ray disc to come out. I'm not sure how soon it'll be before we have Blu-ray players for the Blu-ray TVs that are 4K. I don't even know if they'll call it Blu-ray. Maybe it'll be something else. But anyway, it's coming. It's going to be better than Blu-ray. It's going to allow uh, larger television screens. I imagine pretty soon we'll see 10-foot diameter televisions or definitely uh, some sort of projection screens that go much larger and much higher resolution than what we're seeing now. So. Let's take a look at what we got in the studio. Hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, get ready for 4K. The Hero 3 already does it in cinema mode at 12 frames per second. In regular 4K mode at 15 frames per second. We believe the Hero 4, which will, is imminent, I would say. I'd say we'll be, we'll be seeing it definitely in the next six to eight months. We'll, uh, from what I understand, include 4K at 30 frames per second and that will really change the game won't it be really nice to see 30 uh frames progressive at 4k that's what i'm looking forward to happy video and cheers